You can't save everyone. Self-improvement is a transformative journey that can uplift and change the lives of individuals. It can get you out of unfortunate situations and inspire others to take action and to grow. Just consider this example. Two years ago, I was fat, I was overweight, and I was a loser. During that time, I didn't want to live anymore. I didn't want to live like this anymore. So I took the steps in order to lose that weight. I started exercising. I cut off all the junk food. I spent more time outside. I quit video games, and therefore, I was able to improve my life. However, what I'm about to tell you will shock you. You can't save everyone. Self-improvement is not for everybody. And there's a reason why so many people still participate in such bad habits. This video will be split into three different parts. Firstly, I want to describe what self-improvement is and individuals who choose self-improvement. Number two, I'm gonna explain why self-improvement isn't for everyone. Why some people still choose to do the bad habits despite knowing it's bad for you. And number three is concluding why you cannot save everybody and who you can save at the end of the day. So who is self-improvement for? With most stories online and in the media, there's a general pattern that follows self-improvement stories. The hero's journey. A person starts from zero and they go through adversity. They go through challenges and hardships that they don't want to live with. This hardship happens very early on in the person's life and they don't want it anymore. They don't want to live that certain way. They find a way to improve it. And so you force yourself, you obsess over becoming a better version of yourself and visualizing yourself. And therefore you build good habits, a structured routine, and overall just a better life with a new passion. And once you've reached your goal, you fall in love with the process. You love the process of continuous growth, of getting better and better and better. And therefore, will you get better? Of course you will. You'll keep going. There will be new challenges ahead of you and you'll smash those. And then new challenges and you smash those. Therefore, this cycle of perseverance, hardships, and achievement continues and continues through a spark and that spark is early on adversity through someone's life and a solution. People choose self-improvement to better themselves. People choose self-improvement to rid themselves of the hardships in their lives. And this is why people choose self-improvement. Number two, why self-improvement is not for everyone. Over 300,000 teenagers vape daily. 36% of teenagers eat fast food almost every day. And 44% of people in grades 7 to 12 perform in underage drinkings of alcohol. My point is that majority of young people, majority of young adolescents and young adults are choosing to satisfy their current selves instead of bettering themselves. Even though they know that no, it's bad for no, them and they shouldn't no. be doing it. Self-improvement is beneficial. Why doesn't everyone choose that path? There's only two real explanations. One is the minor one, that self-improvement is too hard. They don't have discipline, they don't have the hard work. They're not willing to put in the time to change. Yes, they might work out for like two months, but if you don't see any results, bye-bye. They're not gonna commit to it. The second one is one that's less obvious, is that the person had no sources of adversity early on in their lives. These people might've been blessed with great genetics. Simply, they didn't have to work for anything they had. They had no forms of adversity and therefore had no reason to change or embrace self-improvement. Now, there's possibly more forms of adversity, more forms of explanation, but most people can fit in category one, category two, or even both of them. So, conclusion. You cannot save everyone. You cannot get everybody on self-improvement. The path of self-improvement is not for everybody. No matter how hard you try, some people will see self-improvement as cringe and absolutely unnecessary. The world is divided. It's why wars are even a thing. It's the battle of conflict and a battle of ideals. In summary, self-improvement is not for everyone because everyone has different beliefs, everyone has different perspectives and upbringings. Some of your closest friends and family members might see the grind and hustle as unnecessary and cringe well you might see it as absolutely necessary i for say you might see someone who eats fast food every day as really unhealthy and really stupid Bruh. but the person eating fast food every day might see it as satisfaction so at the end of the day you can't save everyone no matter how hard you try why because i've tried it before but i can't convince them no matter how hard i try but who can you save if you have a friend a classmate anybody who wants to improve who is tired of being mediocre, who has the mindset and visualization of becoming a better self. They idolize someone who's already amazing, who's willing to put in the work. I would just introduce them to the concept of delayed versus instant gratification. 
However, to learn more about the concept, I'd recommend you watch this video right here because I actually explain it in one of my free lessons I personally learned throughout my self-improvement journey. And click this video that YouTube thinks that you'll like. Please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.